Welcome back to my channel Dazzling Stepping Stone. Let's see about pulse rate measurement. So today we will discuss about what is pulse, how the pulse is generated from our body and what are the different methods we can use to measure the pulse rate. Normally the pulse is equal to the measure of heart rate. The radial pulse is commonly measured using three fingers. Now we should know how the pulse is generated Due to the contraction of heart muscles, the blood is ejected from the ventricles and the pulse pressure is transmitted through the circulatory system. We have different points in our body to measure the pulse rate but generally we are preferring wrist to measure the pulse rate by keeping our finger tape. See this figure? So this is the correct place to measure the pulse rate. The speed of pulse is 5 to 15 meters per second. The pulse is also called as apical pulse, which is a central pulse, which is located at the apex of the heart. It is also referred as PMI, point of maximum impulse. The unit for measuring the pulse rate is beats per minute. It is called as BPM. The normal pulse rate is 60 to 100 beats per minute for adult person. So the unit is beats per minute. Now we have to move to the factors affecting the pulse. What are the factors affecting the pulse? The first factor is our age. Yes, if our age is increasing, the pulse rate is gradually decreasing. The second factor is gender. If the gender is male, the pulse rate is somewhat lower when comparing female. Now the third factor is exercise. While we are doing exercise, the pulse rate is increasing with respect to the activity. The fourth factor is medication. So it depends on the medication, the pulse rate may be increasing or decreasing. The next factor is fever. If we are having fever, the pulse rate will be increasing. The next factor is hypovolemia. That means if we are injured with any accident, that time definitely the blood will be lost. So due to the loss of blood, the pulse rate will be increasing. The next important factor is stress. If we are in stress mode, the entire body will be affected so that the pulse rate will be increasing. So it is considered as a very, very important factor. The last factor is pathology. So patha means disease. If we are affected with any kind of disease, so it depends on the disease, the pulse rate will be varying. So these are the different factors affecting the pulse rate. Now let's move to Pulse site. What are the different points available in our body to measure the pulse rate? Let us discuss now. See so the first site is temporal. So this is called as carotid. So this is brachial. So this point is femoral. So this place is radial. This is ulnar. So this point is dorsalis pedis. And this is called as posterior tibial. And this is called as Popliteal. So these are the different sites for measuring pulse rate but we are maximum preferring this point that is radial point. So this is a very very comfortable place to measure the pulse rate. Now what is pulse waveform? We are measuring pulse rate in the form of wave. See this? This is the pulse waveform which is obtained by using the method called as photoelectric method. So we should know what is photoelectric method. Let's move to the topic photoelectric method. See, this is called as photoelectric. So here we are using light energy and also we are converting this into electrical signal. So it is called as photoelectric method. So there are two methods. One is transmittance method. Second method is reflectance method. So here we are using the concept transmittance. Here we are using the principle reflectance. First, let us move to transmittance method. In transmittance method, we already discussed that we are using principal transmittance. Consider our finger T. We are keeping two components. One is LED lamp. Second one is photoresistor. We are keeping these two components over our fingertip. Now, this light is emitted from this LED. So, this light is passing through the blood. So, when the heart is pumping blood, the blood is flowing through the fingerprint the blood flow will be increasing now the light is passing through this fingerprint so the density is changing and this light is falling on the photoresistor 
So due to that, the resistance will be changing. Now the circuit is connected with voltage divider. So based on the changes in the resistance, the voltage will be changing so that we can measure the pulse rate. And if you want to record this pulse waveform, we can use strip chart recorder. So for re later reference, we can use this. So first point, we have used LED and photoresistor and we have to fix these components over our fingertip. Now we can send this LED, uh, we can send the light from the LED through the finger and it is passing through the finger and it reaches the another side and it falls on the photoresistor so that the resistance is changing, right? So that we are connecting one voltage divider circuit due to the changes in the resistance, this voltage will be changing in the circuit and the voltage produced in the circuit is proportional to the amount of blood flow in the fingertip, right? So we can record this pulse rate by using this recorder called as strip chart recorder. Okay, I hope that you have understand this transmittance method. Now, we have to go to the second topic that is reflectance method. In the previous topic, we have used the concept transmittance. Now, we are going to use the concept reflectance. See, the same fingertip we are using but the difference is in the previous figure we have used, we have used two components LED and photoresistor. We have kept over this finger but here we are keeping near. Okay, at the bottom of the finger we are keeping. So, it is fixed in adjacent manner we are keeping, right? So, this is LED, this is also the LED, this is photoresistor. So, first point, we are keeping this LED which is adjacent to the photoresistor. Now, this LED light is emitting the light. So, th this is touching the finger. When it touches the tissues, the light will be reflected and it is again falling back on the photoresistor. So this photoresistor will be changing the resistance. Based on the light falling, the resistance will be changing. Again, we are connecting this resistor with the photo divider circuit. So the voltage will be changing so that we can measure the pulse rate. So this pulse rate can be recorded in strip chart recorder. The same concept we are using here too. So first point, we are keeping LED which is adjacent to the photoresistor. Second point, LED which is emitting the light, which is this light is passing, which is touching the surface of the skin and it is reflected back, right? And it is falling on the photoresistor. So due to this light, that resistance is changing so that the voltage divider circuit we are using and the voltage is changing in the circuit and depending on the blood flow in the finger, this voltage is changing. So we can record this uh, pulse waveform by using strip chart recorder. Right? So I hope that you have understand the uh, reflectance method. So this is the real time device we are using to measure the pulse rate. See, we are keeping the fingerprint and we are measuring the pulse rate. So today we have discussed what is pulse, how the pulse is generated and what are the different sites for measuring pulse and what are the different methods to measure the pulse rate. So I think you have understand today's concept. So the key to success is try to achieve a daily goal. Definitely you can achieve a long term goal. Thank you for watching this video.